Okay, here we have a problem that says form a polynomial f of x with real coefficients having the given degree and zeros. So we're given a degree 4 polynomial. That tells us that when we're done we should have an x to the fourth equation. It also says that we have zeros at i and at 1 plus 2i. Okay, so if I have a zero at i then that means I must also have a zero at negative i because of the complex conjugate. If I have a zero at 1 plus 2i, then I must also have one at 1 minus 2i because the complex conjugate. Now we have four zeros, which we know we should have because a degree four polynomial has to have four zeros. Okay. Now our job is to, from these zeros, come up with the original polynomial function. So just like we did with regular plain old real zeros, if this is a zero, then that means that I would have had to have had the um, uh, um, the root, or the factor rather, of x minus that zero. And again, over here I would have had to have x minus this zero, x minus this zero, and x minus this zero. So when I look at these as the factor themselves, this one is x minus i. This second one would be x plus i, because minus the negative, right, would be the positive. Here we'd have to distribute our negative to get x minus 1 minus 2i. And again, we'd have to distribute our negative to get x minus 1 plus 2i. This is our polynomial function. The only problem here is that this is in factored form. And it didn't tell us to leave it in factored form. It just said find the polynomial. So we're going to have to go ahead and multiply all this out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply just these first two, which means I'm going to be distributing and collecting my like terms. So x times x would be x squared. And then we would have plus ix minus ix would cancel out and then minus i squared. Well, if you'll remember, i squared is really a negative 1. That's the definition of it. So i squared minus a negative 1 would be i squared plus 1. That is this part already multiplied out. Now, unfortunately, we have to multiply these trinomials also. So that's going to be, again, doing your distribution I'm not going to be able to take any shortcuts with this one, though. I'm going to have to do it all out. So that's going to be x squared plus, or minus x, rather, plus 2ix. I'm done with the x. Now I'm going to distribute the negative 1. So negative x plus 1 minus 2i. Now I'm done with the negative 1. Now I'm distributing the negative 2i minus 2ix plus 2i minus 4i squared. Now we need to clean this up. So we'll have x squared, got that, minus x minus x would be minus 2x's, and that's all of those I have plus 2ix minus 2ix would cancel out. Minus 2i plus 2i would cancel out. And also, over here we have an i squared. Remember, that's a negative 1. So this term, minus uh, negative 4 times a negative 1, is really and truly a positive 4. So we have a positive 1 plus 4 would be plus 5. Now we still have to multiply these two terms together, and I'm running out of time, so we'll pick that up in the next video.